Okay, welcome. What I want to do is show you how to solve this absolute value equation. Uh, absolute value of negative 5 minus 4x um, plus 9 equals negative 40. Now, whenever we have absolute value equations, it's very important for us to make sure that we isolate the absolute value sign. Okay, because remember, when we're solving for absolute value, we're going to find that positive and that negative value. So it's really important for us to get rid of anything else that's outside of our absolute value function. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract this 9 to the other side. Therefore, now I will obtain the absolute value of negative 5 minus 4x equals a negative 49. Now from here, in other cases where I've shown is, we can take our absolute value and set this equal to our positive and our negative value of our answer. Well, it comes into a problem that we see right here is something I'm noticing is I'm having the absolute value of some number, right? we don't know what x is, equals a negative number. And that becomes a problem because if we look at it, um, you cannot have the absolute value of something equal a negative number, right? Because let's say my number was, you know, I don't know, uh, negative 3. Well, the absolute value of negative 3 is still going to equal 3. The positive value of 3 is always going to equal, you know, positive absolute value of 3 is always going to equal 3. So it doesn't even matter what's inside this, it doesn't even matter what's inside this inequality. When you solve and you get your or I said inequality, when you solve and you get your absolute value function by itself and you see that it's equal to a negative number, you know that we're not going to have a solution. And again, I'll remind you, the reason why is you can't have, there's no such thing as an absolute value of anything equaling a negative number. You know, absolute value of x is never going to equal negative x. So you cannot have this equal to a negative number. So if you get this case, just make sure you know that there's not going to be a solution for the problem.